Hey everyone, it's Ron from the Laser Mill. Going to do a quick video demonstration on how to use the stamps that I sell on my website. My stamps are designed for use with a one ton arbor press. And the one ton has a one inch ram foot. Okay, all my stamps are designed around one inch to an inch and a quarter. And the one inch ram foot covers up enough surface area to where you're going to get a nice, good, clean impression every time you use it. Um, my stamps are not designed for hammering, you know, so if you've been to my website, you probably know that by now. And the primary reason they're not designed for hammering is because of the material it's made from. They're made from acrylic, not metal. So these are sturdy, but they're not durable for hammering. Matter of fact, I don't recommend hammering any image stamp any, anymore. So if you get an arbor press, you get a much better impression with an arbor press than you would if you were hammering a stamp. Um, you can put a lot more pressure, consistent pressure too, and it'll give you a, a deeper, uh, crisper impression than if you were hammering. So when you're using an arbor press, um, if you're going to buy an arbor press, so let's say you go, you buy one from the store, or you order one online, usually the base it comes with is round. Um, it's not sufficient for leather work. I went out and got a piece of one-inch drop steel from a local welding supply shop and uh, it works perfect you know get whatever you know whatever you're doing if you're using holsters if you're doing belts um, you know get something you know just something that doesn't flex so granite also works great I don't recommend you use wood uh, any type of wood a matter of fact oak nothing so steel or granite you know something that's not gonna flex warp or anything like that so when you're using my stamps if you're using on a veg tan uh, case your veg tan you're gonna get a better impression that way um, Obviously, line your stamp underneath the ram foot. The more surface area you can cover on the back of the stamp when you're pressing down, the better. So, line it up the best you can. And then pretty much just press. I'm barely putting any pressure on this right now. So, I usually hold it for maybe about 10 seconds, you know. And then I'll release. There you go. There's your impression. There's a stamp. Still good. Once again, that's Ron from the Laser Mill. www.thelasermill.com. Have a good day.